Alright then, let's not be stupid this time. So, pretty much just need to optimize everyone's stuff. Is there anything fancy I really need to do here? Give her the white cape, I see no reason why not to. That's five extra defense, I suppose. Obviously put them in the back row. Yes, that makes sense. Alright, now let's get going. For realties this time. I should have plenty of MP to just heal with cure spells running from all the battles, and then I'll heal at Sabin's cabin after the segment. So, back through this room like the other 8 million times I've done this between the two segments where I had to do this. One, two. Alright, so this is where the battles begin. I don't think these guys do anything really of uh, note at all, so... Unlike Brave New World, there's no demi or safe or anything. And also there's battle music, which is kind of not good, but whatever. <laughs> Well, I suspect that's, uh, three soldiers. Or whatever they're called. These guys aren't soldiers, they're probably commanders. As opposed to the commando, which is something completely different. And the lights went out. Why exactly they need to stick all their commanders in one place is beyond me. I mean, after all, if they're all commanding people, then who in the world are they commanding? It's kind of not how armies work. I got something that's probably somewhat more useful than the Brave New World piece of equipment in that chest, but... Goodbye. It's weird doing the easy run away from every thing segment after the other one. Alright, so I'm still going up, and I'm pretty sure I've got plenty of MP to spare, if I know what menu I'm in. Okay. There we go. That's the save menu. Skills menu. Oh wait, maybe that was the Esper's menu. Come on, seriously, where's the cure spell? What am I doing wrong? Whatever. I'll just try to run through the whole thing without getting killed. <laughs> Easier said than done, probably, but I'll have to figure out what was going wrong after. One, two... Every time I make a mistake like that, generally I know what to watch out for next time. One, two...
I'm starting to get worried by the lack of battles here. Getting the feeling I might have done something else wrong. Oh, never mind. Maybe I was just getting lucky. Which is kind of a relative term when I think about it because... That can be a double-edged sword right there. Alright, so walk through this slot to the left. That's my something, and one of those was a regal cutlass. One, two, three, four. Which I suppose is to give Celeste something to runic with, or else the next boss fight could be a disaster for uh, an unprepared player. I mean, they'd have to be woefully unprepared to not have a single sword to give Celeste, but... One, two... Now I can keep going to trying to get into this little spot here. I'm almost wondering if I should have just really counted down steps from the top all the way down to the bottom. I mean the secret passageway, not the bottom. Getting to the bottom's pretty easy. I don't need to count steps for that. Two, three... Right in the middle. One more step to take. Four, one, two, three. Now I should be down the staircase into a safe zone. Back one, all the way up to the top. all the way to the right, into this little slot that they put in here just to make me have to remember something extra. That's something. And now I get my free ribbon. Good. Alright, so it should be straight down. Last time I messed this part up... Well, in Brave New World I messed this part up. Wasn't the last episode of this, but... One... Go up and left a few times, and there we go, now I did this properly. Alright, let's just do what I did last time here. Because that seemed to work. And now up the staircase. I'm probably like two steps, two seconds from dying from the next battle, so that's going to be annoying if I really am two seconds from dying. Now I'm out of the secret passageway. Yeah, I think only one character's running. You know, maybe I should use some tonics. I think maybe Celeste just got uber-owned somehow in the first fight. So potions should be at the top. Yeah, you're dead. The more I think about it, the more I think that's probably what happened, and that's why I was getting confused with the skills menu, because I couldn't get any magic from Locke. One back up, all the way to the left. So now I should probably be good for making it out from here, barring some really awful luck. I'm probably only going to get one or two more battles. 
I'm thinking one at this point. Then again, I've got a lot of up and let right steps to take. I gotta wonder how Celeste died so quickly. Like, did enemies get like two criticals on her in the first battle? Something? <laughs> Maybe I didn't get a battle at all on the way out. Yeah. Wow, I made it all the way to that cutscene without a single fight. Alright. Did I nail it? Nope. Alright, got it there. So until next time. Alright, time for another episode of uh, Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. This should be significantly easier than the Ranger World segment if I remember to equip my guys. That might help. Come on, the save point. Where did I... Oh wait, I must have gone into the treasure room. Alright, managed to make my way out of there. <laughs> Let's go back here and not be stupid. Okay. Now why am I... Whatever, I'm just gonna restart. I was right next to it too. Really?